How to Read a Galileo Thermometer If you've ever wondered how to decipher the temperature using one of those elegant, liquid-filled glass tubes, you're in the right place. Let's break down how a Galileo thermometer works and how you can read it easily. First, it's important to know that a Galileo thermometer is not actually invented by Galileo Galilei, but it's based on his discovery that the density of a liquid changes with temperature. This thermometer is essentially a glass tube filled with a clear liquid, usually ethanol, and several smaller glass spheres filled with liquids of different densities. To set up your Galileo thermometer, hang it indoors from a hook, but avoid direct sunlight for accurate readings. Give it a few minutes to adjust to the current temperature. Here's how you read it. The glass spheres inside the tube will rise or sink depending on the temperature. Each sphere has a metal tag attached to it with a temperature reading. When the temperature changes, the density of the liquid in the tube changes, causing the spheres to move. If one sphere is floating roughly in the middle of the tube, that sphere's tag will show you the current temperature. For example, if you see a sphere with a 7D tag floating in the middle, that's your temperature. If there's no sphere floating in the middle, you need to look at the spheres that are floating at the top and those that are sinking at the bottom. Take the temperature reading from the lowest sphere in the top group and the highest sphere in the bottom group, and then average those two readings. For instance, if the lowest sphere in the top group is tagged 70, and the highest sphere in the bottom group is tagged 72, the temperature would be around 71 degrees Fahrenheit. There's also a simpler way to think about it. If all the spheres are floating at the top, the temperature is lower than the lowest tag. If all the spheres are sinking to the bottom, the temperature is higher than the highest tag. So to summarize, reading a Galileo thermometer is all about observing which spheres are floating and which are sinking, and then using those observations to determine the temperature. It's a beautiful blend of art and science that can add a touch of elegance to any room while keeping you informed about the temperature.